To say giving birth is a life-changing event, well, it's almost an understatement. From the moment baby arrives, mom and dad are sent into a whirlwind of new experiences. You take the baby home, you give it its first bath, you take it for its first walk, and so on. Then you have to keep track of all the follow-up appointments, such as those with the pediatrician and the OBGYN. Well, there's one appointment many new moms may have never considered, physical therapy, specifically pelvic floor physical therapy and here to tell us exactly what that is are Kara Conlian, a pelvic floor specialist and Leslie White, pelvic floor therapist, both with AquaCare Physical Therapy. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. This is really a, a fascinating uh, subject. So let's just start with what is pelvic floor physical therapy? Well, millions of women have pelvic floor dysfunction, but it goes undiagnosed and untreated. And really, the pelvic floor muscles make up the muscles that support all the organs within the pelvis. So you can imagine with pregnancy what happens with the weight gain. All this stress comes to the bottom um, to those muscles, and they attach from the pubic bone back to the tailbone. And these take a lot of stress because they support the bladder, the uterus, and the bowel. Um, and they also, if they're injured, they're constantly active because they're the fulcrum of all all the stresses on the pelvis. Oh. So for pelvic floor dysfunction, we work with these muscles that become weak, stretched out, or painful after pregnancy or during pregnancy. So after a pregnancy, should all women get this checked out, do you think? Yeah, um, I think that it, that it is definitely help, uh, uh, can be problematic, especially if they have problems with leakage of urine. Mm -hmm. um, they can have problems with pelvic pain. So it's things that they kind of just forget about, and then later on it's affected. Okay, and we're going to talk about that uh, in just a few moments. But first, a pelvic floor therapist. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us about that. Yes, so a pelvic floor therapist, a little bit different from the routine therapist, but we have specialized training. So in addition to our, our education from schooling and that entry level, we go to extra courses. Courses, continuing education courses that allow us to have more in-depth and more um, competence with the evaluation and treatment techniques of specifically the pelvic floor, that perineal area. So what are some of the things that you might do with a patient? So things we might do, we might do examinations of looking at the pelvic floor, kind of taking a look and seeing how those muscles are contracting, relaxing. We also do an in-depth look of kind of at their pelvic region to see are those muscles of the hip and, and the pelvis firing correctly? Are they doing what they're supposed to do to create that stability and that support for the pelvic organs. So what can a woman expect uh, from seeing them? I mean, you, you go through exercises or? Yeah, we actually brought a ball today to show you one of our exercises. Um, so a lot of times after pregnancy, the abdominal muscles become stretched and weak. Mm -hmm. And people typically think, let's do sit-ups. But sit-ups don't work on a muscle called your transverse abdominus, a very important muscle for providing support to decrease low back pain and also to prevent problems later on in life that women may experience. So I'm going to have Leslie sit on my ball. Now, one of the reasons we use the ball is because when a person is on the ball, we want to work on posture. Because with um, pregnancy, they're nursing and they get into this position. Right. So sitting on the ball helps her. Go ahead and bounce a little bit, Leslie. Mm -hmm. And you see how automatically she sits up just a little bit straighter. Um, so in this position, Leslie, just put your hands on the inner part just into your pelvis. And I want you to think about pulling your belly button in as if you were going to pull it towards your spine. And you see how the ball rolls forward a little bit. So that's a transverse abdominus contraction. Um, now, women have trouble doing that, so we use our, our friend, the pinwheel. Uh, so go ahead and hold that, and I'm gonna have you go ahead and blow that pinwheel. Blow a little harder. So when you do a deep breath, that causes that pelvic floor, or that pelvic floor and that transverse abdominus to contract. So it's ah. an easy way to get people to do it without really thinking about it. So they're, what they're doing is they're just strengthening all of that? Exactly, to oh. give support to the back as well as the pelvic floor. Okay, so specifically, um, Tell us about some of the problems. I know that, you know, you talked a little bit about the problems you have after you give birth, but these are problems that can happen later in mm -hmm. life as well. And you may not, I guess, tie it to childbirth? Sure. Yeah, what are those? Yeah, um, incontinence is a big one. Mm -hmm. um, so leakage of urine is, is affects so many women, and they really just kind of accept it. And we should not be peeing when we exercise, cough, right. sneeze, and laugh. <laughs> um, also, prolapse can be a problem. Prolapse is where the bladder, the uterus, and the bowel start to fall. And then if that happens, it can lead later on to needing surgery, like a hysterectomy or a um, bladder suspension that has a lot of complications if they have to go the route of surgery. So th therapy can help prevent those surgeries. Now, is this a therapy that's helpful 
can it be helpful long after you give birth? Like, you know, I know you want to have it after you give birth, but then you might not have known about it. Can you get it later in life? Yes, you can. I always tell people there's not a, a too old to learn your pelvic floor and learn about your body. It's increasing that awareness. We have women who are much older in life that kind of look at us from the moment they walk in and go, I'm too old to do this. And I go, actually, you're not. And within the first couple weeks, they're finding that difference. They're increasing that awareness of those muscles and they're seeing that change, that difference in that incontinence, that reduction in pain, whatever it may be that they're coming to see us for, they're seeing that change. So these are problems that many women my age might think are just, it's just a thing in life, it's a stage in life, but it doesn't have to be, does it? No, and I think it's important to talk to your doctor and, and tell them that you're having these problems and not being embarrassed and then to suggest to them that maybe physical therapy might be a route to go um, hmm. that's less invasive. Okay, so uh, postpartum care in America, very different from other countries, isn't it? Yes. yes. Tell us about um, that. France is one country that we've kind of looked at and researched in the sense that they actually, postpartum care by a pelvic floor therapist is actually part of their standard of care. So they, uh, their physicians encourage and look at doing 10 to 20 sessions with a pelvic floor therapist to really help that mom get that stability back and really get more of that body awareness and help reduce some of those concerns that they may uh, have and be affected by later in life. The hmm. U.S., we're still, we're still learning. We're still getting that message out there as women's health therapists to let doctors know, hey, there is a group that's here, you know, women's health that specialize in those muscles and can really help take concern and help those women to get better. So if you are expecting, maybe it's a good idea to talk to your doctor about looking into this or maybe prescribing this after childbirth? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Or even during childbirth during. or before, mm -hmm. during their pregnancy. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. Thank there. you so much, yes, Leslie, Kara. Very thank you. interesting.